And it's time now for this morning's Pet of the Weekend segment, and we throw it over to Ferd, who has a intimidating little friend you know, there. <laughs> I'm getting over my fear of reptiles here. <laughs> uh, we've got Leah with the SPCA from Monterey County. Leah has Poncho. Poncho, Poncho. is a... Bearded dragon. Bearded dragon, mm -hmm. which by the way is very friendly and apparently he likes to crawl on He's me. He's a cuddler, yeah. Poncho's a cuddler. <laughs> and you said he was licking you earlier, right? He was, yeah. He was licking <clears throat> my, my jacket earlier. Okay, let's go ahead and take him. Can I pick him? Or? Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay, just we're kind of support just... his body and, and you can set him okay. on down. There you Perfect. go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Now that's a pretty looking bearded dragon. Bearded because it has all these little spiky things? Yeah, yeah. And um, actually when they Look at that, posing are doing for the camera. Look at that. <laughs> they'll do a bit Regal. of a defensive display in their beard right here. Uh -huh. well, actually, Which I was a little afraid of when he was doing that to me. So that's yeah. his little defensive he'll, posture. He'll turn it black actually when he starts getting angry. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, so um, it actually turns into a black beard. Oh, well, that's what happened, bearded dragon. Uh, tell us a little bit about the care of these guys. Sure, so these guys are going to need UVA, UVB light source. Okay, for heat? For heat and also to mimic the sun okay. so they don't get deficient in vitamin D. Very good. Um, they're going to eat mostly salad with a few uh, bugs for some protein. We don't have to worry about fingers? No fingers, nope, no, you should be fine. <laughs> um, and then they do need heat. Um, they're they're native to Australia, so they're used to it being nice and warm nice all and the hot. time. Yeah. And uh, enclosures. You, this came in as a stray, correct? Yeah, this animal came in as a stray to the SPCA. So he either escaped his enclosure or um, or got out somehow. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. um, but they can't really survive in the wild on their own. So we're glad he came into the SPCA. Okay, so definitely have a good solid enclosure. Mm -hmm. And I would say minimum 30 gallon tank. Okay. Um, so some so, space to room. Yeah, with a with a cover on it so they can't climb out, preferably. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Leah and Poncho. Hopefully we'll get you somebody. You're a good looking very very, He's very a nice regal. Dragon, very, yeah. Yeah, very cool. <clears throat> All right, if you're interest, interested in adopting Poncho or any other dogs or an, uh, dogs, <laughs> <laughs> lizards or other animals or any pets, uh, go check out the SPCA website at spcamc.org. Or again, if you're already a pet owner and you want to show off your canine, your kitty, or other furry friend, or maybe even a little lizard, we want to see them. This here is Mila, a Boxer and Doberman mix. That's a good looking dog. If you'd like to see your pet on TV, take some photos this weekend or during the week here, upload them to the U Local section of our website, ksbw.com. Each week after the Pet of the Week segment, we'll show off some of the best photos you send in right here on Action News Weekend Sunrise. <laughs>